Okay, so we looked at rigid body velocity. Now, let's look at acceleration. Okay. So, so far we have this velocity okay, equation that relates the angular component to the linear component. Okay, so uh, the linear velocity simply just omega, the angular velocity, cross it with the displacement vector. Acceleration, okay, by definition, it has two terms. The first term is the tangential component. Okay? The second term is the normal component. Okay? Um, so notice that I've used the tangent normal coordinate okay, to describe this. Okay? You can also use the radial and transverse coordinate. So this will be uh, the transverse the theta uh, component and this will be the radial component except that now this is a negative sign. Okay? So we change that this is going into and okay, going into the origin. Okay? So you have this rigid body that's rotating about a fixed point and yeah, having a certain angular acceleration, alpha. Now the linear acceleration, we have two components, right? The first component, tangential component, is this right here, which is a T. Second component, this right here, the normal component, I'm going to call it a N. Okay? So, so we can write this as a tangent plus a normal component, okay, vector, right? So the magnitude, the magnitude of A itself, a total, would be A T squared plus A N squared, okay, which is something like this, your A total. Okay. The magnitude. Okay. okay. Now, by definition, the relative motion okay, applies to acceleration as well. So, the acceleration of point B relative to A equals acceleration of B minus acceleration of A. So we move things around. So, acceleration of B equals A A plus this uh, relative acceleration. Now, this is exactly how we analyze acceleration for a rigid body. Okay? So this is the rigid body motion equals translation plus rotation. Okay, so same analysis method as we did for velocity. So it's keep going. So left hand side the same and A A translation portion plus now this, okay, pure rotation, okay, will be exactly this right here, okay, which is this, a okay, definition, okay. So we're going to expand this into two terms, tangent and normal component, right. So acceleration of B relative to A, tangent component plus normal component, okay. So, and this is exactly alpha cos r, okay, and r is, again, the um, relative okay, displacement, okay? And then, second term, the normal component, okay, by definition, let's take it down here, all right? So, when you analyze accelerations, this is the equation you use. Okay, let's look at an example. 